Hey everyone, I am Alex Elmore and this is the Who News Sports Podcast. So earlier today, I met with Nita. She is the Athletics Administrative Assistant at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, Amisola. And uh, so it was really interesting uh, talking to her. You know, me and her went to the same high school and, you know, she just completed the sport management program at Amisola and I am in it right now. So we got to share a lot of different experiences that we had and a lot of similarities that we went through. And it was just an overall fun conversation I had with her. She has a different, she kind of has a different perspective within sports as well. And I think you guys will uh, see what I'm talking about with that. But all in all, great conversation. And I think you guys will really enjoy this. So please listen. See ya. So Anita, how are you? Good. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So I guess uh, kind of getting started off, tell me a little bit about what you do you know, just at UMSL and what you did with the uh, UMSL sport management program. Sure. So currently I'm getting my MBA um, with the emphasis in finance. And I also work in athletics as the administrative assistant. So basically deal with a lot of finance and just trying to keep everything together. Um, During my undergrad, I started off as a crim major, decided it really wasn't for me. So I went to sports management because I just really like sports and I wanted to do something with it. Um, I had two internships, one with the basketball team and then just UMSL athletics in general, so. Oh, so uh, I didn't know you could do like one with an individual sport at UMSL. What'd you do with the basketball team? So I was actually with the basketball team for three years. Um, (laughs) Basically everything um, from making sure practices were all set up and game days were all ready to go to making sure everything was ordered and kind of in between okay so um with when you did your uh internship at um for um so athletics does did you work on any projects there or what what else yeah so i mainly did um kind of like the live stats production that's kind of what i mainly did but i also did like some marketing i know like i made some flyers Mm -hmm. for games and um before games and post games so Okay, cool. Um, so do you do anything like sports related, like outside of UMSL? I mean, I dance. I've okay. been dancing. I don't really play sports as much, though. I feel like I kind of grew out of it, but dance, I still do. So, yeah. So for those who don't know, um, who are listening, uh, me and An- Anita went to the same high school. You played, uh, you played, uh, uh, what was it? Did you play volleyball there? I did. Okay, that's right. So um, did that kind of like, you know, lead into your uh, love for sports? Honestly, yeah, I think it was basketball, though. Growing up, my brother and I, we had a basketball hoop on our garage, and we would always play um, with his friend and my friend. And growing up with guys, um, cousins, and my brother, um all they wanted to do was just play sports so I just kind of grew into it and then in high school my favorite sport was basketball I played volleyball I mean I did enjoy volleyball but I loved basketball um I had hoped to play in college but I ended up having knee surgery so that kind of threw it away from me yeah and um I still wanted to be involved in everything and I had some of the players in my class and they told me, you know, hey, we have a spot open to be a basketball manager. And I was like, yeah, why not? So, yeah, that's that's great. Uh, by any yeah. chance, who is your was it Mr. Bab? Is that was that your coach then? No, Robards. Oh, Robards. OK, Robards. Yeah. yeah. Cool. He's still there, by the way. He's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love him. <laughs> um, let's see. So. Is, so you're in this, like, you, uh, what you were doing, what you, oh, sorry, just got my tongue okay. tied there. <laughs> so um, you talked about, you know, doing a lot of the finance part of, um, for the UMSO athletics. Uh, is this kind of where you see yourself, like, going with athletics, or do you see yourself going in a different direction soon? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I still don't know. I want to say until I finish my master's, I will continue being here. But after that, I plan on moving to Europe. So I don't I don't think I'll be okay. with athletics anymore, but definitely in like the finance department. 
Okay, cool. All right. Do you have anything like specifically that you're thinking about in Europe that you have an idea? Of where I'm going to move? Oh, no, not like, not move, but like what you want to do exactly. Not really. Okay. And okay. anything with finance. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So kind of going back with the uh, sport management program, you were, I, you were one of the first people to complete it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me like a little bit like about how, how it like, how it was being one of the first people in that group to graduate uh, with the sport management degree from Omsel. And, you know, tell me a little bit about all the player, uh, not players, all the uh, students that you graduated with and how they felt about it. So I was a little nervous, but honestly, I felt pretty good about it. Dr. Bolesco, she's great. And mm -hmm. um, I know like there were a lot of things that they were still trying to work on. So I was kind of like a test dummy. Right. Um, <laughs> I like to think of it like that. Uh, Dr. Bolesco really helped me out with a lot of things um, when it came to the internships. Since you, we were supposed to have two and it was like 300 hours and I was still with the basketball team, she allowed me to use yeah. that as part of my internship, which honestly really kind of made me look at it differently because instead of kind of doing my everyday task, I actually had to think about what I was doing and um, I'm having a break part. <laughs> <laughs> but basically kind of like what I'm doing with the team and like how it's going to help me with my future so um that definitely helped out I should say mm -hmm. as for my classmates they honestly they felt the same way they really enjoyed the program they love Dr. Belesco she has just been super helpful and she really cared about us and making mm -hmm. sure that we are looking for jobs you know once we graduate um and I still keep contact with a couple of them and um one I'm not sure if he's still with the Cardinals he was going to work with the Cardinals but I think he planned to move and um work for the Blues but nope. I'm not sure who was it it was Lucas Lucas is with the uh STLC SC right Soccer. now. Yeah. So he's with, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know he was talking about, well, a while back when we talked, he was like with the Cardinals and then he mentioned the blues and like mm -hmm. sales and it was just a lot of options. I forget uh, two. I mean, you probably know this, but two of our, uh, two people who graduated with the uh, sport management program are with the soccer club right now. It's Lucas and I can't remember the other name. I, th I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I forgot his name, but I remember we had a debate in our class and I was against them too. Yeah, I know. His name, <laughs> I don't know. His name. I remember though. I'm never going to forget that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, just them being there has actually helped us with connections too, because they're both in ticketing and yeah. we now are connected with the head of, I think it's the head of the ticketing department there. Uh, her name is Mandy Rupp. Right. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um, it's just honestly been really cool to see everyone go around. Um, do you know, uh, I, I'm sure you've talked to Eddie a lot, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He, he actually said yes. a lot of good things about you. You said you were a very, a very good hard worker mm -hmm. and you said you were that you were like that in class too. Well, yeah. If Eddie sees us, thank you, Eddie. I could say this for him. <laughs> He's a great guy. Yes, He's he is. Guy. We actually just talked today. He, um, um, was telling me like how I, he literally called me to tell me how, how I was doing a good job with a bunch of different things. Like, you know, we've been, we just set up like the Super Bowl and the final four, or we're working on the final four, but the Super Bowl already has been set up, but yeah, nice. it's, mm, which I mean, it's definitely a step in a, a different direction from what you guys, I have right. you guys, did you guys ever think about going to any major events? No, that didn't come up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. I think, I mean, honestly, with me, I was always just busy, so I barely had time for anything. That's and, fair. Yeah. All right. Uh, hmm. Do you have, like, any, you know, tips to kind of, like, 
you know, what, what are some things I should be looking out? Like when I'm in an internship, like I will be, I'll be starting my UMSL internship next semester. Well, I'll be, it'll be basketball, baseball, softball. What are some things I should be kind of looking out during that time? Definitely. Well, I would say with any internship that you get, just kind of anything, Hmm. always network, always reach out, always talk to anybody that you can meet anybody that you can just form those connections because those connections come a long way. Like with my job now, um, Lori, our athletic director, she actually reached out to the head coach and she was talking with Bob and she's like, Hey, you know, what's Anita up to? And, and, you know, would she be interested in this position? And it was honestly, I think I got this job because I was with the team and that's just kind of how she knew me. I was always here every day. And that's, so that's what I would say. Definitely network because you never know when that will come in handy. Um, and honestly, just try to pick up as many projects as you can. Mm. I know that's what I try to do during my internship. And by doing that, I was exposed to a lot of things. So with the flyers that I was making, usually they don't really tell interns to do that. Uh, but I needed, of course, more hours. Right. And so I was like, you know, what else can I do? And I remember I was doing that for the basketball team. So I was like, hey, you know, I could do this for you guys, too. And um, Marianne at the time when she was working here, she kind of even gave me some tips and tricks on how to change it up a little bit and to make it better. And it just kind of worked out. So you never know what you can yeah. learn. So I have we were we were looking. Me, Jacob Vogel, and Hannah Carl are uh, doing the uh, internship coming up, and we kind of noticed, you know, it is it is kind of hard to get all your hours in at the UMSL internship. So yeah. I I have this idea. I want to run this past you real quick. Okay. And see if you like it. So let's hear it. I was during the soccer games this year when I was uh, volunteering. I noticed that we had a terrible sound system at the press box. Do you, you kind of, you hear that yeah. all the time? I agree. I agree. Yeah. So my idea was, you know, we could set up a fundraiser, kind of like a fun event. Um, my, my idea was a movie night, kind of like a $5 emission, you know, raise money to have a better sound system on the field. That way, um, so they pay $5 and, you know, we do all the research for it to kind of see what we need for that, what we can do and, you know, where to put it and all that. And I think that's just a really good way to one, get hours in and to help the athletic department out. I think it's great. I yeah. think that's a good idea. Um, I would say the only thing is where would the movie night be? Right. And still with the whole COVID, I know we still have to watch mm-hmm. out and you know keep our distance and masks on and everything. But other than that, I think it's a great idea. As long as you have a plan and you know really kind of go through every single step you know like what could go wrong and if it goes wrong okay how can we fix it and kind of look at everything but I think it's a good idea okay I have I do have one last question for you are you are involved with the Bosnian dance at Bayless right yes yes okay yes because I I I saw you there one night and I was like wait is that Anita I I see I was gonna say I was gonna say something that night because I was like it has to be Alex. I was like, it has to be, but I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't sure. So I was like, I'm just not even going to say anything. Yeah. So I am, I am a custodian there right now. So nice. that's why I, by the way, I do clean your guys' gym floor for you. So just saying. Thank you. They're, <laughs> they're spotless. They're beautiful. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess the last thing I'm going to ask is, I guess you kind of did already give a tip for internships, but what about What's your final kind of like big pet peeve or what tip would you give to anyone trying to figure out where they belong in the sports industry or just any industry really? So honestly, you don't know until you try Mm -hmm. with me. um, Criminology growing up, I, I didn't watch SpongeBob. I was watching America's most wanted and cops. Like that (laughs) that was my childhood. So, um, Growing up, I always thought criminology, 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 and I was so set on it. And after sophomore year, I remember some classes and I was like, oh boy, like this isn't for me. And I was doing sports at the time and with the basketball team. And I was like, you know what? 
sports management. This is my calling. And then end of senior year, when I graduated, I was like, do I really want to do sports anymore? Because I've been dealing with it all of my life. And I just kind of wanted something different. But it's good because with everything, you know, with criminology, I tried it out. Wasn't for me. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I found something else that interested me. I did that realize maybe sports not so much but I got something out of it you know I'm doing finance in the athletics right. which is great you know so for people who don't know what they want to do it's completely okay you know you have a whole lifetime to figure it out mm -hmm. and I would just say honestly just don't stress about it before I used to stress about it all the time like I have to know right now and if I don't know right now you know my future is going to be ruined you never truly know and I would say whatever you find interest in, just go and just do it. And if you like it, great. If not, who cares? You could say that you tried down the road. You know, you're never, you're not going to have regrets. You're not going to have what ifs, you know, if I did this, would it be different? So I would just say, try anything and see, see what you like. And if you're happy doing it, you're never going to look at your job as a job. So. Anita, that was great. Thank you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> So I, I think that is all I have. Uh, Anita, okay. thank you for coming today. Thank you for meeting with me. I've, Thanks for having I've me. I've been looking forward to this. I, I think we've been trying to plan this for over a month. A while. Yeah. Yeah, a while. But I will definitely be seeing you around, though. I'll be around yes. them. So, but all right. Well, you know where to find me. Yep. yep. You have a good all day. Right. Thank you. You too. Yep. See you. Bye-bye.